love it. You know, he's been here every year for us, the past couple of years anyway, since we introduced the cooking segments. This is Chef John Mackis. Thank you so much for being here. You're from Gyros, Gyro. Gyros. Gyros, which is a play on words because a lot of people pronounce gyro. That's right. The wrong way. That's right. So you named your restaurant the wrong way for fun. That's right. Okay. It's a marketing stunt. I love it. It was a play on words. It kind of creates a conversation at every table. I love it. And yeah. you're, he's also been a major player in the Greek festival every year. Uh, and this year you've come and you're going to actually teach us how to make the best sauce <laughs> in the world. I call it tzatziki sauce, but you say... The proper way is tzatziki sauce. It's kind of uh, difficult. You have to, it's kind of like a J, but not. Okay. Tzatziki sauce is tzatziki. the way to say it. Okay. And this is, you know, if you at home have ever tried anything Greek, that you've tried this sauce. I'll tell you, I'll, I'll make that. Once I learn how to make it, I'm going to put this with everything because it goes with everything. You can make this with chicken. You can dip beef in there, right? Yes. Vegetables. You can stick your finger in there. And just your finger, it's delicious. Tzatziki is a, is a, is a main staple at, a, at our dinner table and it, it's kind of, it definitely goes with all of our meats. It's kind of like a, like a barbecue sauce, I'd like to say, for our meats. Mm. Pork, chicken, beef, lamb. Uh, but it's also used as a dip and an appetizer with pita bread. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. And I'll tell you, it's so, it's very fresh when you taste it, not, not bought in a store. When you taste it at like your place or at the Greek festival, it's very refreshing and it's healthy because it's yogurt based, right? Yes, it is yogurt based. It's Greek yogurt. You want to use a really thick Greek yogurt. Um, you know, the higher content fat is better. Mm -hmm. um, you can do the, the, the lighter kind if you want to. If you do, just make sure you squeeze all the water content out of the cucumber. So it's just Greek yogurt, cucumbers, lemon, dill, and some garlic and a little bit of olive oil. Now, do you have to let this set up at all, by the way? It's, it's better if you let it set for about 20, 30 minutes at least. And then how long how long can you eat it afterward? Is and, you know, you can keep it in your refrigerator six, seven days like most other stuff. Okay, okay. And I'll tell you, it is amazing. So, you know, anytime you have parties at home even, you could use this as the primary dipping sauce. <laughs> it's funny because I've noticed Aaron. I, I snuck Aaron in. Aaron has very slow, almost like a cartoon character. He's just slowly kind of migrating over here. It smells amazing too, by the way, all of these really fresh ingredients. So thank you so much. What, what is this in here? This is pita bread. Oh, I brought you guys some pita my bread. Oh, so and it's warm. Somehow he's, he, to eat he made it, it warm. I thought I was gonna have to dip my finger in it. Can you see this, by the way? Let's show mm. this. Which, which one? The pita bread. Can you see this okay? It's just beautiful. It's beautiful, by the way. And this is, by the way, the Greek festival does kick off this weekend. What's new at the Greek festival, if um, anything? The Greek festival is, it, most things stay the same, of course. We do have the inside, don't forget about the inside dining. Uh, we have Plaka, which is the area around the Acropolis yeah. where there's shops and restaurants. We've created that area there that's called Plaka, where there's shops restaurants, taverna, coffee, and wine tasting. So even if it's raining, there's lots to do indoors. All right, you're gonna give that a try? I'm gonna give it a try. Okay. Mm, that's it's good. delicious, it's that so good.